हेलो बेटा इन टूडेज क्लास वी गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ चैप्टर ट्वेंटी सिक्स विच इज गोइंग टू बी बेजियन नैश इक्विलिब्रियम एंड रैशनलाइजेबिलिटी सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज बेजियन नैश इक्विलिब्रियम what is bayesian nash equilibrium we'll talk about that okay first of all try to understand that we have already in the previous lectures talked about what is a simultaneous game and what is a sequential game right bayesian nash equilibrium is a usual nash equilibrium wherever we have talked about nash equilibrium till now but in a bayesian nash equilibrium what happens is that there is the presence there is presence of chance node there is presence of chance node and when we say that there is presence of chance node what do i mean that it is a nash equilibrium with the presence of probability where there are some probabilistic nodes available to you for example when nature decides whether you will be an enemy or a friend with probability p and 1 minus p so there is presence of a probability right then there are bayesian nash equilibrium right there are two methods to go ahead and to solve a bayesian game the first one is to compute rational uh, rationalizability and nash equilibrium on the bayesian normal form game by representing it as a matrix to isme hum kya karte hain using method 1 using method 1 what we do is we convert a we convert a sequential game which has the presence of chance nodes into a matrix form into a simultaneous game into a matrix form and once we have converted this into a matrix form we find nash equilibrium of this matrix in the usual way in the usual way so if you remember we had gone ahead and we had seen this kind of game aisa humne ek game previous lectures mein dekha hai and we have seen how this kind of game i have explained you in detail how this kind of game can be converted to a matrix format we have done this in detail how this kind of game can be converted to a matrix form right so if you see if you see we had got this kind of of a matrix form ye tha player 1 and ye tha player 2 beta so player 1 a1 to a0 player 1 a1 to theek hai a0 Player two can go between C and D. Player two is acting here, so player two can decide C D C D C D C D C or D. Remember, we have done this game in detail. Player two goes for C. Player two goes for C. Okay, so. i am 
इन दिस सेल आई नीड टू फिल द पे ऑफ एक को मैं दोबारा रिवाइज करवा देती हूँ वी नीड टू फिल दिस पे ऑफ हियर एट कॉमा नाइन कैसा है लेट मी जस्ट शो यू दिस सो इफ यू नोटिस ए वन टू एंड सी का जो पे ऑफ है दिस इज हैपनिंग विथ प्रोबिलिटी टू बाई थ्री विथ प्रोबिलिटी टू बाय थ्री right and this one was happening with probability 1 by 3 with probability 1 by 3 so this is 2 by 3 into 12 by 9 so this is going to be 24 by 3 comma 18 by 3 Plus zero by three comma nine by three, so this is going to be eight comma six plus zero comma three eight comma nine. So यहाँ से हमारा ये payoff आ गया था eight comma nine. We have already learned how to find this payoff. ये वाला part हमने पहले ही किया हुआ है. We have done this part in the previous chapters. How to find these payoffs, isn't it? I am just finding those payoffs here, right? I will just take a random another point, another box, and I will try to show. So suppose we want to fill this box, beta. ये वाला box का payoff निकालना है. So B twelve, B not, and C. So if I go by it, what will happen here, beta? B twelve, B twelve, B not. and then it says c c b12 b not c that means the payoffs are this and this right so with probability 2 by 3 my payoff is 6 comma 0 and with probability 1 by 3 again my payoff is 6 comma 0 so my payoff is simply 6 comma 0 right so yahan pe 6 comma 0 aa raha hai like this what you do is you convert a sequential game which has chance nodes into a box into form of a simultaneous game ab ek bar ye box mein convert ho gaya right then can can't you find nash equilibrium you can you already know how to find nash equilibrium in this case we have done that in class so how can we find this let player one strategy be this What is best for player two between nine and six? Nine. Let player one strategy be this. What is best between six and seven? Seven. Let player one strategy be this. What is best between three and eight? Eight. Let player one strategy be this. What is best between zero and nine? Nine. Let player two strategy be C. What is best between eight, ten, four, and six? Ten. Let player two strategy be D. What is best between three, four, five, and six? Six. So we see that this is coming out to be a Nash equilibrium, है ना? So my Nash equilibrium becomes B twelve B not D. B twelve B not D. That is my Nash equilibrium. Is this clear? so the first method is very simple you know how to convert any sequential game with the presence of chance node into a simultaneous game ye humne seekha hai pichle lectures mein ki isko convert kaise karte hain how to make this into a matrix form and once you have converted this into a matrix form Then there is nothing left. फिर तो normal Nash equilibrium निकालना है और वो Nash equilibrium to find that Nash equilibrium we know how to find that Nash, right? So we can go ahead and we can just do this part. That is simple. Okay. Now the method number two, beta. Method number two is when converting into matrix. is not possible 
अगर ऐसा हो दैट आई विल आई एम नॉट एबल टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू अ मेट्रिक्स फॉर्मेट देन वॉट डू आई गो हेड एंड डू हाउ डू आई सॉल्व फॉर दिस गेम वेन द कन्वर्जन इज नॉट पॉसिबल लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज द एग्जाम्पल से इज दैट देर आर टू प्लेयर्स आई मीन सपोज द एग्जाम्पल से इज दैट देर इज there are two firms right and firms have to decide on the quantity the firms have to decide on the quantity but one of these firms one firm suppose it has some chance node mane this one firm it can have high cost with some probability and it can have low cost with some probability jaise humne abhi tak we have done stackelberg games we have done kurno games so what was happening in kurno game well we were given that you know there are two firms firm 1 and firm 2 and we were given their marginal cost that marginal cost supposes this firm 1 ka itna firm 2 ka itna suppose right and we were told whether it is a kurno game or a stackelberg game ye hame bataya hua tha right and we were given a demand function so we were given suppose q is equal to 10 minus p and then we were asked find small q1 and q2 aisa kuch was asked to us in the questions and we saw for both kurno and stackelberg how to solve these kind of games we have seen kurno and stackelberg but now what is happening is that one of these firms or both of these firms can have a chance node so when we say that there is a presence of a chance node what it goes ahead and it means is that the firm this firm right it will not have fixed cost like this cost is still constant fixed means constant cost is still constant but it can have randomization man it can have a cost of 4 or cost of 1 with some probabilities instead of having the cost of c uh, you know 4 always ab ye firm ka do cost ho sakta it can have two kind of cost with some probabilities right so there is a presence of a chance node now so because there is chance node present there is probability present right therefore now we need to ask how to solve the bayesian nash equilibrium when there is presence of probability in the question how can we go ahead and how can we solve this kind of question that is what the question is okay. now how we go about the process is that we treat each type as a separate player माने अगर फर्म वन का कभी कॉस्ट फोर हो सकता है और कभी कॉस्ट वन तो फर्म वन को हम क्या करेंगे दो अलग फर्म की तरह ट्रीट करेंगे एक फर्म को हम बोल देंगे फर्म वन ए विथ कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर एंड अदर फर्म विल बी कॉल्ड फर्म वन बी विथ कॉस्ट ऑफ वन राइट इट इज द सेम फर्म जिसका दो अलग प्रॉबिबिलिटीज है With some probability उसका कॉस्ट इतना हो रहा है और सम प्रॉबिलिटी उसका कॉस्ट इतना हो रहा है सो इट्स द सेम फर्म बट विच हैज टू सेपरेट प्रॉबिलिटीज रैदर देन ट्रीटिंग देम सेपरेटली आई मीन रैदर देन ट्रीटिंग इट एज सेम फर्म विथ टू कॉस्ट विथ सम प्रॉबिलिटी एक ही फर्म है इसका दो कॉस्ट है कुछ कुछ प्रॉबिलिटी के साथ रैदर देन ट्रीटिंग इट लाइक दिस हम उसको दो अलग फर्म मान के चलेंगे वी विल ट्रीट इट एज टू सेपरेट फर्म so we will say that there is a firm 1a it has cost of 4 and there is a firm 1b and it has cost of 1 is this making sense so we are treating the same player as two different players ek hi player ko do alag player mein ab hum divide